Hi everyone. So I hope you all had a wonderful holiday or if you're still celebrating, um, I hope you're having a wonderful holiday. Uh, we had a great Christmas and in my last video I shared what we got our kids for Christmas and in this one I would like to share with you guys what I got for Christmas. I don't think I did this last year and I got like such sweet thoughtful gifts this year. Um, not that I didn't last year. Um, but I really, I got some great gifts this year and I just wanted to share them because they didn't really, they aren't going to really fit into any other type of video and I just want to share my cool gifts that I got. So I'm just going to jump in and show you what I got for Christmas, what mom got for Christmas. Uh, let's see. Now the first thing is this cute, uh, and excuse my voice, I'm sick obviously, um, but it's not going to keep me down. I got this cute, um... Uh, wooden spoon for my seven-year-old she picked this out for me it is a wood burn spoon it's got a cute little fox on there and then a heart here and then i'm not i'm assuming this is like what is this hand painted baby i think it's hand painted uh she picked it out off of etsy and it's indigo spoons in case you're curious uh wood burn spoon so i thought that was really cute and thoughtful of her to get me to go along with uh, what my kids got me, my 10 year old picked this gift out for me. Does anyone recognize who that is? Uh, we recently studied, um, they got to pick two powerful women, strong women, uh, women of history, you know, kind of a broad category of women to study. My seven year old picked Amelia Earhart and my 10 year old picked Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who is still alive. Um, and then I sort of got into Ruth as well, like when we were reading our little uh, children's book biographies and then we rented a documentary about her and then now I'm reading a biography and I just got really excited. And I saw this online one day when I was just Googling um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg stuff and my 10 year old noticed this and went back and told my husband that this is what she would like to get me for Christmas. But it just says Mary resist miss on it. And I just, I love it. Really thoughtful, thoughtfully picked out gift from my 10 year old. Now, another thing that I got, this is from my husband and this is just um, a Bluetooth car thing. I don't know the correct name for it. Uh, it's a Leck Wave. But he got this for me so that I can play my podcasts and audiobooks in the car without fooling around with that cord. Does anyone know what I'm talking about with the cord that you plug into your phone? It looks like this and then you plug it into your car, then you plug it into your phone um, so you can play your audiobook or your podcast through your speakers. This is just like a Bluetooth device. This charges this. And and then this is the part where you plug into your uh, car and then you don't have to plug anything into your phone. You just go to your settings and hook it up somehow, some Bluetoothy technology way. And then you can just broadcast what you're listening to and you don't have to deal with the cord. So that was really thoughtful. I'm just someone that gets really aggravated with cords and I'm always losing them. Our phones um, are two different uh, types of ports on them and he uses his to listen to stuff and then when it's my turn to listen I'm panicking because I can't find my cord um, so that was just a really thoughtful gift that he got for me now I have one gift that I'm saving for last because it's like my favorite gift um, another thing is we have a tradition where we go to the bookstore on Christmas Eve it's just something we do we started a few years ago. Usually we see a movie. This year we didn't. We just went to the bookstore and out to eat. Um, mainly because we have a one-year-old now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hate being I hate being sick, but I'm, I want to make videos. Uh, so bear with me. So we went to the bookstore and everybody picked out a book or books. And I picked out two. And the first one that I picked out is What Alice Forgot by Leanne Moriarty. I have read all of other uh, the other Leanne Moriarty books except for, let me check this real quick, except for The Hypnotist Love Story. Um, I just haven't read that one yet. Uh, I need to see if my library has it. But I've been dying to read what Alice forgot for like a year now. 
And so I finally was just like, you know what, I'm gonna get it. Because usually when I go to bookstores, I look for titles, I look for books that are, um, that I've never heard of before, and I take that opportunity to flip through them and see if it's something I would want, versus when I'm ordering books online, I only order books that have, are already on my TBR. Um, I don't know, it's something about I need to look at it in person and read the cover and not the synopsis online to figure out if I want to get it or not. Um, so, kind of broke the rules for myself for this one. I had to get this, um, even though I could have found it cheaper somewhere else. That's how I talked myself out of it last year, and then I didn't read it for a whole year. So I got it, and I'm excited. I'm already like halfway through it. Um, I love it. Now, the other book I picked out isn't really for myself, but I picked it out um, because I thought it was so neat, and I am going to read it, but it's Anne Frank's Diary, and it's the graphic adaptation, and it's ad adapted by Ari Fullman and illustrated by David Polonsky. My seven-year-old actually is reading this right now and seems to be um, understanding it. I wasn't going to read it as a read-aloud. I was just going to let my kids read it whenever they felt like they were ready. But I thought it would just be a beautiful addition to our bookshelf, and I thought it was so neat. They made a graphic adaptation of Anne Frank's diary. I mean, how cool is that? That caught my eye. It was on the table as soon as we walked into the bookstore and I snatched it up immediately. Um, they do a good job of catching your attention on that first table or those first few tables when you walk into a bookstore and they're like, hey, look what's new. I was like, all right, take my money. I'm buying it. But it's just, it's gorgeous and I think it helps make it so, um, so much more relatable for kids because sometimes they, uh, you know, they prefer graphic novel type things. And I don't usually read graphic novels, but this this got me excited. So I'm just going to show you a few more pictures. Yeah, it's just her whole diary except illustrated, basically. And it's wonderful. Now to wrap things up, I'm going to show you the very last present I got. And this was picked out by my husband for me. And I just adore it. He tricked me. Let me give you a little story. He tricked me, um, he wrapped it up and then he put it in a bigger box and then surrounded it with a bunch of like butter boxes and cracker boxes and things. And so I was opening this and like basically pulling trash out of a box. I was like, what is going on? When I got to the prize, I totally squealed. Um, he got me Watership Down by Richard Adams. I already own Watership Down and I love it. Um, I've raved about it in the past, it's one of my most favorite books I've ever read in my entire life. It's so gorgeous. But he got me this huge um, watership down with this, uh, like a custom burned, uh, leather burned cover. Uh, he ordered it off of Etsy and I don't know where he ordered it from so I can't share that shop with you but you could probably just search on Etsy and find it. But, um, so the person that made this used uh, like I guess a wood burning tool, I think you can use those on leather as well. Unless they're like, they make separate leather leather burning tools. But I just love this. And you know what's extra special about it that he didn't realize is, let's see if I can find one. This actually has um, some pictures in it. Not a whole lot. But gorgeous, gorgeous illustrations. I love this. This is like smells good it's like my favorite present that I got it's so pretty and it also um, the crew the person who made this cover also burned some decoration on the back but yeah like a handmade leather cover cover for this huge watership down so that is what I got for Christmas it was mom's Christmas haul um, all wonderful presents, so thoughtful. Um, some I picked out for myself because that is part of my Christmas present is to go to the bookstore on Christmas Eve. Um, but I've, I've been really happy with what I got this year. Um, not that I need things, but you know, it's nice when people pick out really thoughtful gifts and don't just spend money on, you know, whatever. Um, so I was really pleased and really like touched by the love that my kids and um, my husband showed me by getting these gifts for me. Um, let me wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Share with me what you got for Christmas. Not what you got your kids, but what you received that really touched your heart or something you've been really wanting. Um, 
please feel free to share that in the comments below. And yeah, I will see you all again really soon.